Hi everyone, I'm Divya and welcome to my channel, The Food Mile. Today, we'll be making one of the trending desserts, a Turkish dessert, a king of desserts in fact, baklava. Without a delay, let's begin. First, let's prepare the filling. Here we have 100 grams of blanched almonds and 40 grams of shelled pistachios. I have mentioned the process of blanching in the description box. We'll grind the almonds first. Now before grinding the shelled pistachios, let's dry roast them on a low flame for 5 to 7 minutes. This adds an extra kick to the pista flavor. Let them cool and grind with around uh, 3 teaspoons of granulated sugar. Gonna mix both the powders, almond and pistachio. Now I have here 50 grams of coarsely ground almonds and lastly let's add cardamom powder around half a tablespoon. These bigger pieces in between the layers will add crunchiness to the baklava. Mix everything well and the filling is ready. Now we'll be making the phyllo pastry sheets from scratch. In a big bowl let's take around 420 grams of maida. 15 grams of baking powder, salt, a little less than half a teaspoon, 15 grams of milk powder, mix all the ingredients well. Now to knead, we will be using warm water. I have taken around 240 ml of warm water. Add little by little and incorporate into the dough. You may have to add a little more of water around 2 to 3 teaspoons. I am saying this because all flours are different and the water usage varies slightly. Ultimately the consistency should be that of a chapati dough. Not too tight and even not loose. Once done, we'll add oil to the dough. You can use ghee also here. I've taken oil around 90 grams. Knead the dough well for around 10 to 15 minutes. and let it rest for half an hour.
for rolling out and everything we will be using a mix of cornstarch and all purpose flour for every 3 tablespoons of cornstarch add 1 tablespoon of maida okay traditionally baklava has minimum of 30 layers so what i'll do is divide the dough into 20 portions which will give 20 sheets we have divided the dough into 20 equal balls make sure to keep them covered i'll be using this tray and my rolling board is slightly bigger than this tray so i'll roll out each sheet of the board size so that later i can cut the sheets and use let's start rolling now here there are two ways to do One is to do in batches, six balls in each batch, and rolling them out together. And the other way, which I am going to follow here, is to roll them one by one. When you roll in batches, you have to make sure they do not stick to each other, separate out often, apply corn flour in between the sheets, pile up again, and roll. Secondly, when you roll in batches, the edges start to overlap. Be generous in using corn flour maida powder. The moment you see the dough has absorbed the powder, dust some more, else it will be difficult to roll out. Keep turning the side, dust some flour and roll. So on a plate I'm placing these rolled sheets one above the other with some flour dusted in between make sure to keep these sheets also covered with a cotton cloth I'm storing the sheets in a set of 3 batches 6 6 and 8 So here is a set of six sheet. Let's cut them out in the size of the baking tray.
Now let's keep the baking tray ready. Grease it with oil. These cutout won't go waste. We'll be using them too. Remove the extra corn flour with a cotton cloth or a brush, just slightly, not much. Okay, now the bottom and the topmost of the baklava has more layers. So we'll be placing six sheets at the bottom. Separate out each layer and place in the tray. Now a generous layer of dry fruit filling which we made. Now we have to place three layers. So here we'll be using the cutout pieces. With these I'll place three layers and then the filling. Like this we'll repeat four times with three layers and filling in between. The more the layer with lots of dry fruits filling, the more rich and tasty your baklava will be. Now 
Now the topmost part should be beautiful. So we'll be using the sheet, placing six sheets on top. So on the whole, my baklava has 24 layers. Now with the help of a sharp knife, cut them into shapes as per your wish. Next, we'll be drizzling warm melted ghee over them. I've taken 120 ml of melted ghee. The pastry sheets will soak up all the ghee. Let it soak for around 1.5 hours. Preheat the oven at 170 degrees Celsius and bake the baklava at 170 degrees for 30 minutes and then lower the temperature to 160 degrees and continue to bake for 45 to 1 hour until the top turned nice golden brown in color. It's baked and coming straight from the oven. Immediately pour the sugar syrup over them when it is hot. The sugar syrup here is made with 2 cups of sugar and 1 cup water and a fresh juice of 1 lemon. Just cook the syrup in low flame until the sugar dissolves. It will be good if you leave it to rest for 2 to 2.5 hours so that the sugar syrup is being taken up well and it cools down completely too. The recipe I know is a bit too lengthy, but I must say it's worth making once at least. When you enjoy one piece of this baklava, you'll realize it was worth it. So give it a try and impress your family and friends. I'll get back to you in the next video. Until then, goodbye and stay safe.